All right, everyone. Welcome to Tomahawk DIY. Today we're doing a review of a Dell Inspiron 14Z, uh, also the, or specifically the 14Z N4110 uh, laptop computer. You can check out my unboxing uh, of this computer from a couple months ago, and now I'm here to give a review. Let's take a, a look at the body of the computer now that I've been using it for a little bit. One of my favorite features that kind of surprised me with this Dell is uh, the fact that it's got a metal casing here. Uh, this is on the top and then on the uh, the wrist rest area here. Um, the other parts of the computer, the back of the computer, is fairly typical um, computer plastic. Got some very slight texturing to it. You see the, the battery back here. And then right along the, the front edge, there's plastic here. But let me tell you why I like the metal. First of all, I kind of like the feel of it. Uh, that surprised me. I was a little reluctant about it at first. Um, but I've really come to like it. It feels cold to the touch very briefly, and then uh, then it warms up quite quickly once you start using it. One thing that, that I have a hunch on I think the metal uh, on the top helps transfer heat away from the bottom. Some of my past laptops have gotten very hot on the bottom and uh, to the point of being uncomfortable on my lap. I haven't had that problem with this computer. And again, as I mentioned, I think, I think that has to do with, um, in part at least, with this being metal, with heat transferring up and then the, the heat actually dissipating throughout the metal surface here on the, the wrist rest. The metal behind the, the monitor doesn't, uh, doesn't help with that, unless perhaps it's helping dissipate any heat from the monitor, but I haven't noticed that. So let's continue taking a look at the outside. I quite like the form of the laptop here. The way the hinge is set um, has been rather nice. I've also enjoyed the battery with this little bump, it's it's kind of proved to be a convenient handle on the computer. The bottom here, you've got a couple of speakers. These have pro provided some decent sound for watching videos, uh, things of that nature. A couple of ports for fans and cooling. Uh, you can check out my other video to see how to add some RAM in the back here. This computer has four rubber uh, rubber footrests here. The battery life has proved quite good. I haven't uh, timed it, but I believe the battery is lasting me five, six, maybe even seven hours. It's a, a very strong battery, battery life for a computer like this. Um, what else here? Let's take a look at the, the side. We have um, a DVD drive. This can burn DVDs as well as uh, CDs. I was a little skeptical at first the way this this is curved all around the edge of the computer. wasn't sure how I'd like that. And now that I've used it for a couple months, I've really quite enjoyed it. I was a little skeptical of these covers um, the, at first that cover USB ports and the headphone jack here on this side. We've got a Kensington lock. Um, coming around the back, we've got another port for the Ethernet, another cover over the Ethernet. Um, plug a DC adapter here where you plug in for the power <clears throat> and then on this side we have a USB port HDMI jack and a mini AV this one threw me off a little bit I had to get an adapter to use with my projector in order to plug uh, plug the mini uh, mini auto audio visual or I'm sorry, maybe it's a mini S, mini VGA plug. Anyway, I needed an adapter in order to plug this into the standard, um, the more standard blue uh, VGA cord that goes to projectors. I think this is just a sign of where technology is going and, and you won't be seeing some of those VGA ports as time passes. And then there's the SD card slot that can take SD cards and MMC cards, maybe some others as well, but I've uh, only used it with SD. On the front, I like the lights. 
they're a white light. I will take a look at that in a little bit here. And you've got some of your standard signals, hard drive, power, battery life, or the battery charging, and uh, and like wireless connections. What else do we have? One thing I don't like, I don't like the shiny surface. I mean, you can see my reflection here. I'm not crazy about the, sh the shiny surface. A lot of laptops have that these days. Um, I think that that has to do with the particular glass that's used and the particular type of screen. It's generally fairly difficult to get away from that. That can be slightly annoying in, in uh, situations where there's a lot of light, but it's not as bad as some, some laptop computers I've used. Um, up at the top here we've got a microphone. I've used that in recording some of my other videos with screenshots and that seems to work quite well. Also great for uh, web chats and things like that nature. And of course the, um, the built-in web camera. What else is there? Um, the keyboard. I very much like the feel of the keyboard. If you ever happen to pop a key off, you can check out my video here that shows um, how to reinstall one of these keys. Uh, these keys do a better job at not popping off than my last computer. I've got little kids and uh, sometimes their fingers are very good at ripping off the keys from, from laptop um, keyboards. But they haven't gotten at this one. Uh, similarly, they haven't been able to rip off my wife's uh, Asus netbook um, keys. So I like that. I like the feel of the keys. Um, the way they kind of spring back and, and the shape of them. It's been very nice to type on. Um, the touchpad here, I like that. It's a multi-touch so you can use two fingers. If you set it up you can use two fingers to scroll up and down. Um, you can zoom in and out. Those are the features I've used, multi-touch. Um, I think it can do one or two other things um, but that's where I've focused. There's three buttons up here. To be honest I haven't used those. I'm sure they're they're useful if you set it up and use it. Um, I like the layout of the keyboard over here with page up, page down, home and delete and end as well as having the arrow keys here. Um, what else? Screen brightness. One thing I'm not crazy about is having to use a function key up here with F11, F12 in order to turn the volume up or down on the computer. Uh, this button here is for turning the speakers on and off, or the sound on and off, so that's nice. I like the light and the caps lock key. Let's take a quick look at that. If we turn on the computer, you can see this glows a, uh, a white color here. Caps lock, I like that it's got a built-in... <coughs> caps lock key has a built-in white light so you see instantly if caps lock is on or off. That's quite nice. And then I mentioned the white lights on the front of the computer. So in a nutshell that is the Dell Inspiron 14Z N4110 um, laptop computer. I've been using it for a couple months now. Um, my particular computer has a core, Intel Core i5. Uh, that's worked very well. This is also my first computer with Windows 7, which I've quite liked. Um, I was a little skeptical at first, having been uh, very used to Windows XP, but the transition to Windows 7 has been quite easy. I also installed Office 2010. Uh, you can check out this video here that'll show you how to get a great deal um, if your business or um, employer happens to participate in this Microsoft home use uh, program. It cost me ten dollars to get full-blown version of um, of Microsoft Office uh, so that's a, a great legal deal. One thing of note uh, in my review with this computer is as with most uh, consumer computers this comes with a, a fair amount of bloatware or unwanted slash unneeded software on it. Um, it's not too hard to remove. You can check out my step-by-step um, -step directions on removing bloatware from this computer, which are also applicable to a variety of other uh, similar computers. One other general comment. One thing I appreciated with this 
particular computer when I purchased it it came in with a package deal from Dell where I received uh, Adobe Premiere and Adobe Photoshop kind of the starter or home editions of those software um, and that uh, uh, the Premiere software has been very useful in my video editing it's really the first uh, first time I've used some official video editing software and it's been a pleasant experience in a nutshell that is uh, that's a little summary of this Inspiron 14Z and 4110 laptop computer I really like it um, love the feel love the weight uh, not too heavy I like the size the fact that it's a um, I like the size of the monitor here it's not a 17 inch it's not a 15 6 this is a 14 inch screen and I like that it's, it's not too big but it's it's not too small either um, so that works very well for me and that's this uh, that's this Dell Inspiring computer it's been a great computer highly recommend it um, let me know if you have any questions and I'll see if I can't answer them <laughs>